Hi, I'm Alice Burkett and I'm here with Alice Murrell, Production Coordinator at Hand & Lock as part of UKFT's British Textile Week in association with the Cloth Workers Company and Campaign for Wool. We're celebrating the craftsmanship, creativity and innovation of the UK textile industry and I'm pleased to be with Alice to discuss embroidery and the British textile industry. Hi Alice. Hello. Welcome. Um, can you start off by telling us a bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. So I work at Hand and Lock as production coordinator. Uh, we're a small company of about 15 people and there's myself and our production director, Jess, who handle all of the production of bespoke projects um, here in our studio and also at our factory in India. So we work in both places, depending on the requirements of our clients and the size of the projects. So we work on a whole host of different types of embroidery. Our specialist embroidery is gold work, which you can see behind me here on um, this military jacket, which is a Serbian diplomat's jacket, if I can remember correctly. Uh, so gold work is traditionally used in military embroidery, uh, but now nowadays it's used a lot in fashion and uh, like badges, things like that. Um, and yeah, so it has a whole host of uses, which, which is really great for us because we get to use it in loads of different projects. Uh, we also, aside from gold work, do pretty much any other type of embroidery you can think of. Uh, we do here in the studio, a lot of monogramming and machine embroidery, digital machine embroidery. Um, and that can be ranging from literally some, uh, a monogram on the cuff of a shirt, all the way up to monogramming 150 bags for a PR event. So it really, really ranges in project size and application, which is really interesting to work on on a daily basis because no day is the same. Fantastic, and how did you get to where you are today and how long have you been there? So I've been at Hand and Lock now for three and a half years. Um, I graduated from university about five years ago. Uh, school I was very into textiles amongst other things um, and we had a great screen printing department um, in our textiles uh, department at school and I always thought I was going to go on and do print and sort of go down that route rather than embroidery uh, so I went off to university I went to Nottingham Trent University which is absolutely great I would highly recommend it it was it was I had an absolutely great time there and um started textiles and then you do sort of a bit of everything and then in the second year you decide what you want to specialize in and after thinking I was going to do print I ended up choosing embroidery um, because I thought it's going to be easier if I use the print skills I've already got with embroidery anyway it worked out for the best I did an internship with Alice Archer who is a women's wear designer and she has a really big emphasis on embroidery and that was really helpful because it, it showed me the, the reality of using embroidery in fashion and what is required to use it. And so that set me really up really well um, when I came here because that is um, quite often the most difficult thing about a project is actually the application of the embroidery and what's realistic and what uh, you have to, gonna have to change about the design in order to make it work on the garment or on whatever you're putting it on basically. So yeah, that's how I ended up here. Yeah, I've been here for three and a half years and um, sort of progressed um, in terms of responsibility here. I started off as a production assistant and then moved up to production coordinator, which was, which was great because you just get to work on so many different projects and um, yeah, a whole host of different people both brands and private clients as well. Hand Lock has quite a long heritage, an impressive heritage. You say you've got a real range of clients and a range of different types of work that you do. How do you, how do you build on the heritage um, as well as staying relevant and up to date? Here at Hand and Lock, we have a, a quite a young team. There's a, a mixture of ages, but a lot of us are sort of in our 20s and 30s. And I think that really helps to keep keep us relevant with trends of embroidery and what is going on in the world of fashion and embroidery and things like that at the moment. Um, we, we really try and use our traditional techniques in more contemporary ways and 
color, using different colors and um, and maybe sub subverting what the traditional styles were. So for example, this sort of gold work embroidery would have traditionally been done pretty much gold and silver colors, that was it. Now, um, we over the last few years, we've developed a whole rainbow of um, gold work bullion, which is a material that's used in gold work. And uh, this is the result, I'll show you a sample. So you can see here that is the rainbow that we can we can achieve now so it can really be done in exactly the same style but just totally changing it and and then you're a million miles away for the from the original use and the sort of connotations of military embroidery which not obviously not everybody wants to use um yeah so we're using um the gold work and then we're also using a lot of um digital embroidery which is obviously a much newer technique and trying to mix them together so that people can have a sort of taste of what can be done by a machine mixed with what can be done by hand. So it sounds like you have a real a real range of stuff that you work on. Can you tell us a bit more about some of the more exciting projects that you've had recently? Sure. Um, it's, it's my favourite bit about working at Hand and Lock is the variety of projects that we can work on. Uh, last year, I mean this year has been more quiet on the projects front, but I'll give you some some examples of things we did last year. Uh, so last year we did a really exciting project with Bentley, which was uh, for their concept car, uh, which I'd not worked on uh, on a car before. And it was really, it was a really, really interesting process because we went up to Bentley and we saw the prototype of the car and how big it was and um, what was going to have to go into the logistics of putting the embroidery, it was to go in the door panel, into the door panel of the car. And then um, how the embroidery was going to have to be padded and um, finished in order for it to be ready to go into the car. So that was, it was really exciting. And then we went up and saw the car when it was on, um, on display at their um, like presentation day, which was amazing. It was so great to see it from start to finish. Um, we're also sort of um, alongside that we'll be working on fashion projects um, and costume projects. We do a lot of military costumes um, because uh, costume designers like to have an exact replica of what, well, as long as budget permits, they like an exact replica of um, military uniforms, something like this. Um, so last year we were doing costumes for the crown, which is great because I saw it last week. The, new trailer and she's going along on the horse with the the embroidery that we did so that's lovely to see um and then we're also doing fashion projects so we are working with the vampire's wife who um susie cave is the designer and she um has a great vision for embroidery which is really nice and we're using it in a really contemporary way so um she's launching some some bags with us soon so that's great um and also a challenge because the application on bags and making it ready to be um, put out for the public to purchase is brings a whole host of challenges basically. Sounds fascinating, sounds like a very exciting place to be. And in terms of um, product, products that are going out to, um, to customers, how can how can hand embroidery add value to a garment could maybe not stand the test of time it gives the the owner or the wearer um the the sort the incentive and like the the heirloom value to to hang on to it and and to care for it more than maybe they would for a, another plain garment um i know certainly myself i've got I've got lots of things with A on them and I just don't want to get, there's something about having something with your name or with a, a motif that means something to you um, that uh, just makes you want to hang on to it forever. Uh, we, we work with uh, the jeweler, Jessica McCormack. I'm not sure you'd have to have a look on her Instagram because you can see them there. Uh, her amazing jewelry boxes. So she, um, she rest, uh, restores, antique jewelry boxes and we create the embroideries for her that go inside the trays and I mean that is to me like the epitome of an heirloom 
obviously, but not everything is like that. But for that in particular thing, uh, uh, they're sort of motifs from each uh, client's life. And I think that's such an amazing thing to be able to show through embroidery. Um, it, can, it can be the sort of the same effect that jewellery has, I think. You want to hang on to a piece of jewellery. And I think that's, that's really nice. I know it's my go-to gift for somebody. I know I'm going to put their initials on something because it just makes it special. And I think also when you think of sort of uh, hand embroidery and the heirloom quality, education and telling people about embroidery is really important because, as I mentioned earlier, um, uh, probably somebody that isn't involved in embroidery or making item uh, making things um maybe doesn't necessarily understand the um the process of embroidery and the process of making something and the time that goes into it and i think that can really add to the heirloom quality as well and and yeah uh, maybe letting people understand and, sh and uh explaining to people the process is part of receiving something that's embroidered i think that's that's really important there's a lot of love and care has gone into something yeah it's very personal yeah definitely and I know there's a lot of things that i see go go out to customers and i think oh it's gone now <laughs> sad to see it go <laughs> yeah maybe that's just me i'm sure it's not <laughs> <laughs> so obviously personalization is quite quite a trend at the moment yeah are definitely there other, are there any other trends that you that you're seeing at the moment Personalization really doesn't seem to be slowing down, which is great because there's so many different things you can do with embroidery and personalization. Um, yeah, so that's still going strong. I mean, we do a lot of um, embroidery here and we also do a lot of events where uh, we'll go into a store or to an event and we'll personalize um, items for guests at the event. And it's really, really popular. Aside from personalization, I've seen a lot of uh, sort of political messaging and things like that that we've been doing. Um, a lot of machine embroidery on garments, phrases and things like that. And I think it's an absolutely great way to get your message across. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more of that in the future. Brilliant. So finally, what does the British textile industry mean to you? I think for me, um, the British textile industry is, is really important in in uh, keeping some craftsmanship still here in the UK. For, for us um, and for our clients, it's not always possible, and we have to we have to use our factory in India, which which I think in this day and age is is sort of unavoidable. Um, but we still keep as much as we can here in the UK um, and try and keep the sort of fires of embroidery here in the UK because it's definitely um, uh, I don't want to say dying because it's not a dying art but it's definitely fewer people are learning it and fewer people are using it as a profession and and it would just be such a shame to to lose it especially the more uh, unusual techniques of gold work and silk shading and a lot of um, the sort of unknown techniques which were used a lot in the past and not so much anymore because machine embroidery and printing has taken over because it's a quicker solution and works much better with the fast fashion and the turnover of, of fashion and and other industries that just require things to be done more quickly. Um, we we try here at Hand and Lock as well as our um, our projects with brands and private clients we try as much as we can to put an emphasis on education and we do a lot of classes and lectures and talks so that um, people can learn, even if they don't want to do it, they can learn about it and understand what is involved in embroidery and where it's come from and hopefully where it's going to go in the future. Because I, I think there's a lot that can still be done and, and old techniques that can be transformed to be suitable for now. So, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for telling us a bit more about what you do. It's been fascinating and um, we're, we're very great for you, grateful for you to talk for talking to us. Um, and good luck for your future plans. Thanks very much.
head to www.ukft.org and follow the hashtag British Textile Week on social media for more interviews, trends and tales from the UK textile industry.